Hi, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to run an iLogic form automatically on Save. You will need to refer to other lessons that we have done previously showing you how to create the iLogic form. Right, off we go. To allow Inventor to display the iLogic form we created earlier automatically on Save, what we need to do is create a rule. So we can either right click in the blank area or press add rule. I'll name my rule show form. It's always worthwhile giving these logical names because you'll be using them a lot later on when you do a bit more advanced dialogic. The dialog box will display. Under forms, what we're going to tell Inventor to do is show the form. In the green area here, this is where you need to type in what you called your form. So we called it Symmetry iProps. I'll press OK at that point. It will display the box. We don't need this up at the moment. So we'll just press Done. Now, we have a rule called Show Form. Now what we need to do is tell Inventor, at the point where you save it, to display that form. So this is done by using event triggers. I'll press event trigger. After before save, you can tell it to show the form. Press OK. Now when we press save at this point, it will automatically bring the box up. I can change the material or change the description for the eye properties. Press done, the document is saved and you've updated the eye properties. It's a very, very useful feature and I think many companies could use this. I hope you enjoyed that lesson on running an iLogic form automatically on save. It's a very useful feature, especially when you combine it with the other lessons about creating forms and creating rules. It will be a valuable addition to your Inventor install. Our next lesson will show you how to create an adaptive chain using iMates. I hope to see you on that one. Bye.